Thank you enough for everybody and their support and for what you have done to make this reality. My job here this evening, my name's Andy Patti, superintendent, is just a few different comments that I wanted to make. Thank you for our uh, design team uh, and vision architecture as well as story construction. Thank you for all of our community members. Thank you for the city of Cedar Falls for uh, all of the partners that have made this possible. I know you're not here to listen to me speak, so I'm gonna transition and turn this over to our school board president. Whoa. Thank you for that. So I am here to represent your Cedar Falls School Board, but I am just one of seven locally elected school board members. With us tonight, we have Director R.J. Meyer. We have Director Nate Gruber. We have Director Megan Witt. We have Director Beth Peterson. Peterson, sorry. That's all we have here tonight. So there are two not in attendance tonight. So today we are realizing a dream and a vision that started over 10 years ago. And I would like to specifically recognize prior school boards, uh, administrators, and community partners that had the vision and the foresight to, to purchase this land and start this process. There was not much here at the time, but I would like to create, uh, quote a great philosopher of our time, Kevin Costner. We said, if you build it, they will come. And as we've seen with all the development out on this side of town, this will prove, this has proven and will prove to be a premier location for this campus uh, and highly accessible for families for decades to come. This campus plants Cedar Falls High School firmly into the 21st century with world-class collaborative learning spaces, safety, and sustainability. I'll let Mr. Wedgbury comment more on that, but the point here is this is a facility that we will be proud of for generations to come. Ultimately, none of this would have happened without the support of our community, so thank you to our community for making the investment into our next generation. I can't think of a better investment than into the education of our next generation. already thanked the uh, architects and builders, so I'd like to recognize the teachers, building leadership, uh, facility, uh, maintenance personnel, and all the people that made the move over the summer. I think we risk uh, taking for granted all of the little details and minutia that had to happen. My next door neighbor was transporting stuff over <clears throat> in her husband's pickup truck over the summer. There's a lot that went into it. So there are so many people to thank, and I'm, it's impossible to name them all. So let me just say for every high school student and parent, thank you to the bottom of our hearts for all the contributions made. As a father of four young daughters myself that are right there in the front row, um, this will be, I'm, I'm personally grateful for all the opportunities that they will have. So I would like to speak just from the bottom of my heart for a minute, if, if I can. So we live in a seemingly increasingly divided country, it seems. And public schools are, the, are one of the few remaining institutions where community members and families come together with uh, diverse backgrounds and from all kinds of backgrounds for a common goal. A goal of educating our next generation to the highest level that we can. We rally together to support and celebrate academic accomplishments, yes, also extracurricular activities and athletics. We cheer them on. And yes, sometimes we cry and mourn when tragedies happen in our school community and in neighboring districts. But it's this coming together of families from different backgrounds and viewpoints that compels and motivates me. So let us make this a place where we all come together as a community, united in our efforts to help our young people achieve their potentials and develop into engaged, committed members of our society. So thank you all for coming tonight. It's a great crowd. 
and I will pass the mic off to Mr. Wedgbury. Thank you, Lowell. Uh, it, it's always my pleasure to show off this facility. This is truly amazing. Um, I, this is my 11th year at the high school. So when Lowell talks about this originating back 10 years plus, um, I feel very fortunate to have walked alongside of a lot of great people. And you're standing here because you most likely had something to do with this outcome and this facility. So I thank you for that support. Um, I'm going to highlight a few things because there's a lot of details we've had to work out to even kick off this year. But I will say, due to everybody who is working and uh, supporting the students of this building, this year has been one of our best. And you're going to walk through and you're going to see high ceilings. You're going to see natural light in nearly every area. You're going to experience a more climate control than those who are standing in the sun. Um, <laughs> You're going to see the increased visibility that allows us to expand learning beyond our classroom but still have visibility beyond our classroom that is already starting to serve as well. You're starting to see areas that people can work into seminar rooms where small groups can break off and work in different areas with technology and other interactive devices just to engage in learning different than what I experienced when I was growing up. And it's really cool to see those experiences. Even from the design team and story construction, um, great working relationships, people that I've worked with for a number of years now. Um, some I'm not gonna be sorry about seeing them go. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we've had great relationships and great working relationships, and I wanna thank all of them uh, for making it go and continuing to work out all the details. I celebrate the number of signs that are in this building to see donors and people who have given of themselves or their finances to make sure that they had a support to improve this facility. So there's so much there to be thankful of. But I'm going to turn it over now to Cameron Davis as she's going to share because we have four students here where four years ago we're on the groundbreaking crew. <laughs> of the first graduating class from our new high school. It is an immense honor to speak on behalf of my classmates and future students to share our abundant gratitude and excitement toward our building with you. As a senior, I've had the privilege of spending my early high school career at our old building on Division Street and now my final year in, by comparison, luxury. <laughs> I say that lightheartedly, but the difference between the two buildings is stark. I'm sure you noticed from online pictures and standing here now, how much bigger the parking lot is, the wide open layout, all the windows, and modern furniture. While these much appreciated designs certainly improve the functionality of the high school, there are also many upgrades difficult to notice without a student's perspective. During the spring of this past year, I led numerous tours to upcoming students. In between complaints of no more early outs because we have air conditioning now, and there's no way I can get between these classrooms in four minutes, I heard the much more eager excitement for the future. I observed teammates discussing how they could not wait to play in a new stadium, performers imagining where they stand on stage, friends planning which comments room to claim, and even teachers picturing their new classrooms. As we near a month being in the new building, I still see the same wish to install a sense of pride in the school. Attending such an inviting, collaborative environment encourages students to encapsulate the meaning of being a Cedar Falls Tiger. To do better on the test, to win that game, to talk to that unfamiliar face across the room, to make history. A school that makes learning, connecting, doing exciting creates students who are active participants in their communities. And the extensive pride my peers and I share because of this building is something that we can hopefully take into the community to share with you. As I stand with the classmates who four years ago we participated in the groundbreaking of this high school when there was nothing but dirt here. It is truly a fulfilling moment for us and our city to celebrate our new home. And although this building will eventually lose its novelty in many years to come, the echoes of the lessons, traditions, and memories established here will continue to resonate through the school hallways into the homes and businesses of our community and beyond. Thank you. Cameron. Uh, it is my pleasure and certainly my honor to have Grove Cedar Valley here with us this evening, our ambassadors, and again, my honor to welcome uh, Katie Susan to
afternoon. Uh, as Dr. Petit said, my name is Katie Susong, and I have the honor of serving as the president and CEO of Grow Cedar Valley. Grow Cedar Valley, for those who may not know, is our regional economic and community development organization. And with me today are our ambassadors, volunteers who proudly represent 50 different businesses and community organizations throughout the Cedar Valley. Together, we celebrate not only the opening of this absolutely beautiful high school, but also the promise that we believe it holds for our region's future. Projects like this are more than just buildings. They are investments in our collective future. Projects like this make our regions a place that businesses want to grow and families want to call home. This new high school really is a testament to what happens when a community unites behind a shared vision of progress and opportunity. And as we look to the future, we know that the success of Cedar Falls, and really the greater Cedar Valley, depends on our ability to foster a strong sense of community, build on our strengths, and invest in our people, in our kids, who will shape our tomorrow. We at Grow Cedar Valley are privileged to be a part of these efforts and to celebrate this significant milestone. So thank you to each and every one of you who has made today possible. And now with that, I would like to ask Cedar Falls Tiger and Mayor of Cedar Falls, Danny Lodick, to come share a few words before we cut our ribbon. For today, I'm really speaking more as the former of those two. I get to speak as mayor often enough. It's not often I get to speak as a previous Cedar Falls grad. Uh, so for those of you that don't know me, I'm Danny Lodick, mayor. But I did grow up in Cedar Falls, went to Cedar Falls schools. Um, Cedar Heights was the best elementary. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I will lose more voters by saying that. <laughs> but I went to Pete and went to Cedar Falls High Schools, and I was incredibly fortunate with the faculty, the teachers I had, the facilities that we had. But those were 20 years ago, and they were a little old back then. We were just talking about that. But Cedar Falls Schools made me who I am. I, you know, we always say it takes a village. Everything about who I am came from having parents that raised me, from having teachers that taught me to be who I am, from having people to look up to in this community. And that starts in our schools. We put a lot of pressure on our teachers to be not just teachers, but to be mentors, to be advisors, and help raise our children. And us investing as a community in that school system, in our schools, is one of the best, highest return investments I think we can make. So I know this is, to us as residents, this is a commitment. This is a 20, 30 year, whatever, how long are the bonds? Oh, you don't have to <laughs> This is a commitment, but this, again, is one of the best commitments that we could possibly make to our children, to our future generations. And as someone, we don't have kids yet, but we plan to in the next year or so. Hopefully it's not a surprise to my wife that I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here, so she can't say all this. <laughs> and let's cut the ribbon. So we are going to have our students come forward, our four students, to be able to hold the ribbon. And we're asking not only our ambassadors, but all of our current and former school board members to come forward as well. So. And again, thank you to everybody for coming here. We greatly appreciate all of your support. Okay. One, two, three. Cedar Falls High School.